so hey guys welcome back to my channel um today is just going to be a life update um i'm probably not even gonna edit this i'm just gonna talk and just kind of like get some things out of the way um about like what's been going on and things like that because i mean whether you keep up with, with me or not i just like getting things like out in the open and like talking about them so like people can just like reference this whenever they're like what's wrong <laughs> um so also i'm sorry my parents are watching american horror story and it's so fucking loud and i'm trying to talk kind of quietly so like they can't hear what I'm saying, but I think the episode's almost over. So. So, basically, if you don't follow me on social media, or really just Instagram, I guess, I didn't really explain it on Twitter. Um, yesterday, I was having symptoms of a heart attack. Um, so, of course, I was really concerned. I didn't really know what was going on at first. I just felt really fatigued. Um, me and Nikki were at Target, and I just all of a sudden felt really lightheaded. I felt like I couldn't like catch my breath, even though I wasn't doing anything, and my chest started to hurt. Um, basically, the pain kind of progressed, and we got what we needed at Target, and we got in the car, and I was like, I don't, I think something's wrong. I was like, I don't know what's going on, and I'm really concerned, and of course, like, that just made me more anxious and stressed so I started like looking up things that it could be and basically like I didn't know this but I mean I knew symptoms of a heart attack are different in women and men but like apparently um the symptoms of it in women are like really common things that lots of people just chalk up to like oh I'm feeling kind of sick and then they just like move on when it could really be something more um, because, like, men get that whole, like, their right arm or left arm or whatever, and they, like, start to hurt, and they, like, I don't know. So, of course, I was really freaked out. I didn't really think that that's what it was, but I did know that people in my family have had heart problems, so that made me more concerned. So, we went to the ER, and my parents met me there, and basically I wasn't having a heart attack um but they like checked all my levels of like different cardiac in enzymes and they like took my blood and I took like a chest x-ray and all this stuff and I was I was at the hospital for like two hours and it was just so annoying and it was really rainy outside like of course um basically they said like all of like my tests came back normal um, except for I had like one thing that was like 0 0.01 above like normal um, and they basically asked if I wanted a CAT scan which I've had one before and they're just really annoying and I really wanted to leave the hospital um, I mean they didn't they didn't want me to get one it was basically up to me they were like we don't think because um, basically it was gonna prove if I had like a blood clot or not they were basically like you can get one and we can 100% tell you yes or no if you have a blood clot or because the chances are so so slim you know you can just leave and then like keep up with your uh, like your regular doctor and then you can always go back and get a CAT scan if like your symptoms come back because I was already starting feeling better after like it went on for probably like 45 minutes to like an hour and then it just like kind of went away um and the pain kind of like spreaded like to like where my heart is so that was really scary um and basically since they couldn't find anything that it, it could be um they basically came up with that it's it's probably related to stress which of course makes a lot of sense because I've been really stressed. I had like two tests last week and um, I just have a lot going on emotionally. And of course it's been hard being here, living at my 
my parents' house, um, and leaving Austin and everything. And me and Nikki have already planned to move back to Austin next year, um, but everything just feels so unsettled, and we're just both like so miserable. Um, so that's been kind of like consuming my life. And I was gonna film a thrift haul because I did get quite a few things thrifting this past week, but I just like don't have the energy and I just, I really just need to like take time to myself and like chill the fuck out and like make time for myself and make sure I'm not like, um, like wasting so much of my energy into things that don't really matter. Um, I really like making YouTube videos and obviously it's something that matters to me. Um, but if I'm feeling uninspired, like I don't want to put content out there and then waste my energy and then like no one even likes it or watches it or anything, which is like how I feel like is what's been happening. Um, cause I just haven't really been into it cause I've been so busy and I've just, I've just been needing to like sort out like my emotions and like um like my coping mechanisms for my mental illness and I do have a therapy appointment coming up so I'll be going to that and I just things are a lot right now and I'm probably going to be focusing on myself more than anything right now um just because I've been so unhappy and I just I don't expect to be super happy at this point in my lives obviously being here and not being in the city I love at the school I want to be at like with like um more friends that I made and things like that so I don't expect to like be super happy while I'm here but I do need to be like okay and I think because I've been so stressed out and like putting so much energy into other things and like caring about what people think about me and just like all this like negativity and stuff um has just like really like added to my stress level of just existing here right now um so yeah, I'm kind of just going to, like, take a break from things. Not, like, a break, but I guess just, like, not so, like, intense about everything. Um. <clears throat> and basically, um, yeah, I might come off as distant to some people, but I just need to focus on my needs and what's making me happy or making me feel stressed and things like that since I already have school and I'm already stressed about that and um obviously money's been a big stressor um I know Nikki just got her second job so things are getting better in that department and just like overall like health both like physical as well um and things with like my eating habits since I went vegetarian and I just like really stressed myself out about it and was basically just like forcing myself to be healthy even though I wasn't like I mean I guess I was doing it for the right reasons but like not doing it just because I wanted to more like because I felt like I had to um which I don't know if that makes sense or not but that's just how I've been feeling um and so I'm really just going to be putting this time back into myself because I think I really need it and you know really prepare before we go back to Austin which like if me and Nikki can find a way to, to like get there sooner and I just take online classes next semester obviously we'll do that but I don't know if that's gonna happen so I'm not like gonna like put it out there that like we're moving in January or anything like that because um, you never know, and I don't really, like, um, you, I know now, but, like, you never know what's gonna ha fucking happen, so, um, yeah, and I basically just don't want to feel so stressed to the point where I feel like I'm about to die, because that was not fun, and it was pretty scary, and I know I freaked out my parents, um, but, 
Yeah. So, <laughs> this is like the funnest video ever, right guys? Um, but I just wanted to get this all out there and also that I'm really thankful for everyone who's been super supportive during this like rough patch in my life. Um, it really means a lot to me that I have so many people that care about me. Um, because I, I don't know, I never, I never thought that was, I was, that was going to happen for me, like when I was younger and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just really grateful for the people I have in my life. Um, but obviously it's kind of hard for me to put everything I have into every relationship right now. Um, I'm definitely just going to be focusing on myself and, uh, mine and Nikki's relationship the most which is obviously the most important in my life um but yeah i just needed to take a break and i'm i'm not glad that like yesterday happened but i'm i'm glad that i now have this like wake up call to like realize like i need to take care of myself um so yeah that's just what i'm gonna do now and Obviously, if you're going through anything like this, anything super stressful, because I know college is, like, so fucking stressful. Like, it's just, like, no one else understands unless, like, they're in college. Like, I don't know how to explain it. So just, like, take care of yourselves. Um, please don't end up like me and going to the hospital and things like that. I'm scaring everyone. <laughs> um... But, yeah, I don't know what that means for, like, how often I'm going to post on YouTube anymore. I definitely don't want to, I'm definitely, like, taking a step back from, like, feeling super pressured to, like, post on social media and to, like, everything be perfect and things like that. Because it just, it just doesn't really matter in the end, um, which is really hard for me to understand sometimes because when things go shitty in your real life, you always want to, like, post something good on the internet. Um, so, yeah, definitely gonna try to be more real. Maybe I'll just post, like, updates or, like, funny clips for my week or something. I don't really know. But thank you guys for being supportive. And I think that's it. I love y'all. See you next time. Bye.